Hello, today I would like to discuss how to insert image to SQL Server table and how to display the image on SSS report from database and then explain the main benefit of using this technique. Here I'm going to create a small table deep image. I'm going to drop the table first and image data is the var binary which is going to be used to store the image in the data. Create the table. Now I'm going to insert the image to the table. This is the image on my local machine. And I'm going to run this query to insert the image to the table. Checking the image in the table. Here the image store as binary data in the image data field. Now let's switch to SSIS. This report has an image. We can initially get image from the network as an embedded. So if we do this as embedded, import an image from the folder. We can then preview the report. See the image stay on the top. In the meantime, we can see the image has been imported to the report. Going back to the folder to check, the RDL file is about 856K. The next I would like to do is using the SQL data for the image source. Here I have already created a data source using the dim image I will remove the image from the report. Change the image source from embedded to database. Select the image data from the data set. Keep the JPEG format. OK. Preview. The image on, appear on the top. Now let's get back to the folder to check the file size. The RDL file now, instead of 800K, it's now 39K. Using the SQL data for the image on SSIS helps to reduce the RDL file size. As you can see, the file size reduced from 800K to 40K, which is quite a big difference. We used to have a lot of report, every report had their own image embedded, which makes the file size very big. Some over 5 meg or some even bigger. Makes it difficult to upload and also the performance on the server could be very, very bad. I hope you find this small tutorial useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.